Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Behind the Likes. I'm Winter. And I'm Shy. And I just walked in the studio. I'm 20 minutes late, which I'm never late because I'm an on-time punctual angel. But today I got the time mixed up, so. You know, it's crazy. You, you, you do like to say you be on time, but you're <laughs> low-key a little always like late or rushing, frazzle-dazzled. Just like Not me a little true. bit. You are. No, I'm. No, but I always find a way to make it. But I don't lie to myself. You be lying to yourself. No, I'd be like, I'm gonna be there. You have terrible time management. I, I have amazing time. You management. You have okay time management. I will disagree, but mm. whatever. Helps today you doesn't prove that. Up. Okay, today <laughs> was. I think today was the one time I was this late, on my own. If I've ever been late, super late, it's because I've been with you. <laughs> <laughs> you made me super late. You are alive. But no, right. but um, we are. Is we're actually kind of on on to date. Even yeah. though it's February, I mean, even though it's Friday, we're back on schedule. Yeah. Of like, because last episode we were like, yeah, well, we hope we had fun in New Orleans, but yeah. now we actually get to talk about New Orleans, yeah. how everything went. Like, I'm. We are actually so lucky to even be able to film this episode because I'm leaving out of town tomorrow. She just got back in town today. I'm annoyed that I I had to come back just for this. Yeah. And, but now I'm staying, so it's like whatever. But we had a whole thing. We were gonna film a, a vlog pod in actually in New Orleans for you guys in our hotel room, like a cute little creative idea that we came mm -hmm. up with, but um. The camera crew ended up not being able to get in contact with us because the parades are so heavy and so mm -hmm. blocked on the strip and on the street. So they yeah. really, it was no way for them to reach us. Yeah. And it just sucked because we wanted to, you know, like have all that prepared and ready for y'all. But, you know, things don't work out as planned. So we're here. Yeah. We're giving we're you the LA. best of us in right LA. now. Yeah. But how'd you feel like uh, New Orleans went? No, this was great. I mean, Baton Rouge was even better. I'm texting my sisters right now. Sorry. <sighs> Some days we'll text a million minute, a million times a day, and then other days it'd be crickets. But um, that's how I'm with my mom too. Literally, but um, I was excited to go back home to Baton Rouge and like to see my two sisters that were able to be there, and you know, just to like see my mom and my dad. So I love that. I love. Yeah. I mean, honestly, I used to when I first moved to LA, I would go back home like three to six times. A year. I really? was going back all the time. I couldn't. I was so attached to my family. Mm -hmm. Now I'm at this place where I'm like, all right, y'all gotta come see me. I go back like once a year. Yeah, like I was Literally. attached. Like I would go back at least like four times a month, four yeah. times a year. Yeah. And now I'm just like once a year. The last time it's like once a year or something like monumental happening. But I was. I'm feeling sick. I'm. I literally hate. Oh that. my god. I, can I brought tell probiotic. It was something. I know, right? Literally, one of us is always sick. Are we yeah. fucking kindergartners? No, literally. <laughs> literally. <laughs> No, but um, that was my first time going to Baton Rouge, and that was my first time going to, like, Shy's childhood home. So, like, that was fun. I was, like, in the – we slept in the bedroom. That was her bedroom as a kid, even though she said it looks different now. It looks completely different. Yeah, but, you know, once you out that house, parents is going to change the rooms Oh, up. my mom like, has been like that my whole entire life. She's – like, that's where I get my DIY from. Oh, like, yeah. Literally, she she will not stay still mm, yeah. as, a, as an older lady. I feel that. I feel that. But I loved it. I loved going out there. I mean, there was overwhelming parts like when we got to uh, New Orleans. But for the most part, it was fun. Like there was nothing negative really that happened. I feel like on our part, like we didn't get into any altercations. I was a little bit nervous about that because, you know, people say people are so crazy for Mardi Gras. Like things be popping off and you got to be safe and like you know like oh like we didn't get into altercations with other people yeah oh yeah i was like with us what we gonna fight about no i mean like other people like you know drunk people oh be acting yeah crazy we saw one girl argue with another girl remember that girl? oh yeah we was right there <laughs> we was like we so we literally stopped over on the side and had our drink like this. We said, "What's been what's happening? This? <laughs> what's this tea all about?" And then we'd be right. running. Fucking the thing about New New Orleans is that it will when it's so many people, it you do get trampled. Like I've gotten. Oh trampled my before. god! So yes. it's, luckily that we didn't get to experience that part of it. No, the first night was very scary. Yeah, you had so much anxiety. You didn't go back yeah. out. I was like, I cannot. Like we went on Bourbon Street during the nighttime, so it was packed like jam 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 packed yeah. and i was like thinking about what was that a couple years ago i think it was in japan or korea for halloween and all those people got trampled to death mm -hmm. on that sh on that one street oh. and i kept thinking i was like oh my god 
I remember seeing videos of like what you're supposed yeah. to do if you get into a trample situation and I could not remember. And I was like, oh my God, I can't believe I can't remember what the fuck I'm it crying. is. I'm crying, not you stressing about that. And you also had on heels. I told you from the jump, I was like, we do not wear heels on Bourbon No, I did. I knew you don't, I knew you don't wear heels on Bourbon Street. That's not why I had heels on. I had heels on because I, we were supposed to go out and I thought we were just going to stop in a little spot and then just like get in a car and drive to wherever we was going to party. But we had to walk down bourbon and I was like, fuck, I didn't know we we're going to have to walk down bourbon, like whatever. Mm -hmm. So it always that, ends up being that no matter what plans you make, New Orleans is literally walking, especially when it's like yeah. big events like that going on. A lot of shit is blocked off. It's so much traffic. It's going to be hard to get an Uber. It's going to be hard. Like, it's, it's a lot that goes into it. And I, told, I remember I texted you. I was like, just to let you know, I texted you like two weeks in advance. I was like, New Orleans is a lot no, of walking. No, I knew. I was, I was mentally prepared for it to I know, be a right? lot of walking. It was a lot. It was. It was. And, a lot. But it, it's, it, and I know you don't like walking, but it is a lot yeah. for anybody. You know what I I'm saying? I do not like walking, guys. It's a lot for anybody. It is a lot for anybody. I don't Especially know if you guys know that. I had, my, I had the, uh, the hotel slippers on. I was prepared. Oh, was no. Like, she was a disgusting little scrotid because you you know what? Scrotent. Did you peep that? A scrotum and a rodent combined. Ah, scrotum. <laughs> scrotent. I was thinking that. I was like, scrotent. Scrotent. It's a new word that I just can't created. But, Do you think um, that's fetch? Yeah, very fetch. But no, she wore the hotel slippers out on Bourbon Street. And I'm guess talking, what? I was walking all night. She's in alcohol, piss juice, probably throw up juice, beads. And you know the, them I hotel slippers? I had a blast. Me. <laughs> and you know them hotel slippers? Instead of, I kept looking down and they just kept <laughs> getting blacker and blacker. <laughs> Flimsy she was more worried about him than me. She was like, "Shy, you might step in glass." I'm like, "I've been here." She's I like, yes. "No, she was like a little grubby Bourbon Street monster <laughs> with them <laughs> slides on." But um, yeah, I only got sexually assaulted one time by a woman. Remember? The oh yeah, when we first literally walked Bro, out, I was like. I talked about Gotta this on live. Gotta get it while you can. I, I talked about this on live, and I was like, there was only one weird incident that happened. Was as soon as we were getting onto Bourbon Street, the girl, and she was like a stud or some shit, I think, <laughs> grabbed my ass. So she was a lesbian, lesbian yes. like the lipstick one, it would be different? Maybe a little <laughs> bit different. No, honestly, no, that would irritate the out of me anyway. Yeah. I do not like people touching me like 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 that, you know? Yeah. So I was like, I didn't even see who it was at first, but our camera guy so I was like, you saw who did that? And he was like, Yeah. And then like showed me. Not and I, red, I was whistleblower. I was literally, I wanted to this close be like, don't ever touch me. But I was just like, we just walked yeah. out of the hotel. We we still looking pretty. We Let us look a little ratchet. Right, we just walked out. I ain't fighting like, no stud, baby. Go fight the men on the corner. Nah, I ain't doing it. I'll, <laughs> I'll fight a stud. That's the thing. People, that's what I don't like about stud lesbians sometimes because they think like because they look and dress like a boy that they're not a girl and can't get their ass whooped like a girl. Like, I don't care if when you wake up every, every day, you put on some boxer briefs. 911. And I put on a thong. <laughs> You couldn't get your ass kicked, <laughs> little boy. No, <laughs> no, but for real, that was like definitely irritating as hell. But it was more love than it was weird shit. Yeah, for sure. it was. A lot of people were stopping you, asking for pictures. Oh, I thought yeah. that was so cute. I honestly like. You I don't realize it. I, I mean, I guess you don't realize because we live in L.A., mm -hmm. but like I don't I didn't even expect it like that. I'd be like, oh, look at this. And like I, when I see it, I'd be like. Um, you know what I'm saying? Oh, how sweet. You know what? That is funny because I just talked about that on live too. Like, you always talk about some shit on live. Save it for the podcast. Girl, my fans need me. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, but it's crazy because like we, I said this on live. I was like, we live in LA. So we see like A-list celebrities mm -hmm. all the time. So like, I'm not trying to like down myself or nothing, but like, don't nobody give a fuck about me. <laughs> like, you know, like, don't nobody care about me. So like when people, we go out, like people just aren't like that. There's like a, there's an etiquette in Los Angeles yeah. about when you but see people. But they know people. you. You know what I'm saying? And it's just the, the interaction is just a little different. Yeah. So, so out here it's more like a brush off or maybe you notice somebody looking at you. But when you go to other places, especially yeah. like in the South and stuff, like it can be a little bit overwhelming. And I'm like, I'd be forgetting that people actually like. Yeah. support me like in, they're yeah. actual human beings like yeah. you know so that was nice i i loved meeting a lot of you guys and um remember the girl we met from the pod oh yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, i love meeting people from the podcast mm -hmm. i think it's the sweetest thing ever you listen to us you love us yeah we she love was you. like i watched all the episodes shout out to you girl she ran into us at the what was that zulu parade is that what it's called 
Um, I don't know. <laughs> oh, you don't? I don't know. It was some like little festival by the river, by yeah. the river walk. But she was like, I've been looking for you guys and I, I know, love you guys. And I've just, I, that makes me so happy when like they come up to us for the podcast and stuff. And oh, and then we're at the bar in Baton Rouge and she was like, I love your guys' podcast. Oh yeah. That was cute. Love you guys. I know. I love that. I think it's the sweetest thing ever. Yeah. What I was about to say. Fuck, I forgot what I was about to say just now. I had something to say to that. What? I don't remember. You were going to rap a little boozy lyric? No, I'm just kidding. They call um, me badass, hey, and I'll I, punish you. Hey. Oh, how did you like Baton Rouge going out, though, when you were out there? It was fine. I mean, it was whatever. You said it was boring? I was, yeah, you I was crazy? They wasn't even dancing. Like Okay, so... Uh, Trey took us to a hookah spot, so it was like yeah. the little. And so I've never. But it been was there. lit though. It was lit. It was a situation. But I, I'm used to the bad rooms that I grew up on. Like there ain't no sections. There ain't no tables. We all in the middle of the dance floor. We jigging. We vibing. I we you know we yeah. Pop them. We pills were dancing I like a little them bit. Pills. Yeah. Rolling, 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 roll. You know what I'm saying. <laughs> That's what I'm used to. So the hookah spot really wasn't giving that, but it's yeah. fine. People were still still like it was a cooler situation. So we went to Daiquiri Cafe. A little bit more my speed, a little bit more ratchet, a little bit more ghetto. She automatically was turned off because they had a gay boy in the bathroom who was like, oh, yeah. aren't you summer? Aren't you summer? Oh, my God. I forgot so like, about that. Yeah. So we're going into the stall and the boy is like, wait, what's your name? What's your name? Is your name summer or something? Did you know goddamn mother with well, my name in no goddamn summer? I hate when people do things like that and like expect me to correct them. Yeah. I will not correct. Them. I will treat you like the dumb that you are yeah. what no i don't know who that is he might have really thought it was no summer. come on don't be dumb you know my name ain't no damn summer and then when people come up to me and say you know who you look like you look like that girl winter i always say i hate that bitch, and i walk away <laughs> i swear to god <laughs> <laughs> i hate when people play dumb in my face like i'm gonna just play dumb you know it's people. crazy people always come up to me and be like you know who you look like beyonce no <laughs> <laughs> no they don't they've never said that in your life did you watch the new love is blind no. Oh, my God. You got to watch it. I got to make this joke, but I can't make this joke. I, if you guys watch Love is Blind at home, please. I was cr Me and my boyfriend were watching Love is Blind yesterday. And when the girl was like, yeah, people tell me I look like Megan Fox. Me and him said. Mm. And then the whole rest of the season, he goes, Megan Fox, <gasps> Megan Fox. <laughs> and he's like so into it because this girl said she looked like Megan Fox. And I do see kind of what she's talking about. A little about. bit. A little tiny bit. But. When she met her like husband, she was like, "Well, she did lie to me. She said like, she looked like the fuck." I was like, "Oh <laughs> my crying. god, that is so screwed that up. That is crazy." But you know, you crazy. know what that reminds me of what? Hottie, hottie. <laughs> when hottie said, "You know, people do tell me I look like Beyonce." I said, "You look like Luther Vandross." <laughs> <laughs> I Beyonce, love New York. Sweetie. Right, I love New York. I love her. <sighs> oh my god, I wish we can get her on the pod. I New know. York, come on the pod. New York, come on the pod. Speaking of Beyonce, what? Uh, the Super, Super Bowl. Bowl. Yeah. I mean, I feel like Beyonce. I mean, okay, y'all already know how I feel about Beyonce. I feel like yeah. she was the best part. She was on the Verizon ad. I'm not mm -hmm. even gonna talk about. Oh, that was a great Verizon. That ad. was such a great Verizon ad. She's she's showing her acting skills. She's such an eloquent lady. Yeah, I love everything about her. I would vote for her if she was Botus Beyonce of the United States. Yeah, of America. I honestly I would too. I would too. I, I feel would like a that. woman is smart. Like I feel yeah. like she could do it all. Yeah. But I'm loving this new era that she's gonna be in. Country, she's hold em, country, hold em. yeah. I can't wait. I'm 60 excited. Sixty carriages. Away. I don't know any other lyric. I haven't actually listened I to the song. I am so. not good with lyrics in general in my life, and I love Beyonce with I'm my life. I'm crying that she put a little smiley face next to the Beyonce. <laughs> <laughs> she said Beyonce. <laughs> <laughs> Question. If Beyonce... <laughs> I, I forgot I was going to ask you this on the podcast. If Beyonce did something against me, with let's say Beyonce hated me and wanted to get me killed. Would you pick her side or mine? Wanted to get you killed is a little extreme. Okay, Beyonce hated me and wanted to destroy everything about me for not she really any apparent reason. She wouldn't do that. Okay, I wouldn't do that. we're just, this is a hypothetical Hypothetically, situation. So would you choose Beyonce's sides or mine? How well do I know Beyonce? <laughs> as well as you can do now. Oh, well, I'd have to pick you. <laughs> 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 Why was that hard? <laughs> yeah. I remember when you asked, would you lie on the stand for me? You hesitated. <laughs> then I asked, I said, I'm going to ask her something about Beyonce. Watch her freeze up. <laughs> no, but um, yeah, the Super Bowl was trash. I was, f we finished watching the Super Bowl at the hotel. Yeah. And I cannot believe that the 49, I'm so tired of the Chiefs winning. I'm sorry. Please they pack it up. They only won twice though, right? I don't care. I don't, I, I, I'm a she hater. just hate Taylor. I'm a hater. <laughs> it was that.
That made him win. <laughs> I wanted the 49ers to win, and not even because I'm a fan of the 49ers. I just wanted somebody else to have their moment. Yeah. And then I just feel like everything's just been so rigged and so capitalism with the whole Taylor Swift, Travis Kelsey Capitalism thing. kills love. It's so annoying, bro. It's like, I was at the airport and there was a t-shirt that said, what What did it say? Taylor's boyfriend's at the Super Bowl or something T like Vote that. for Taylor's boyfriend at the Super Bowl or some stupid shit like that. And I'm like, Bro, like America is literally a joke. But like, aren't I'm sorry. the 49ers, 49ers, aren't the 49ers from the Bay? Yeah. So yeah. that's why you wanted them to win. No, that's not why I wanted them oh. to win. Because I, like, once again, I don't root you for. You just want to be a hater. Yeah, I just want to be a hater. <laughs> the only team I'm rooting for is the team my boyfriend is on. So, yeah. And whatever. what team is that? Huh? <laughs> Ding. Like, no. I don't know. Right. Did you like Usher's performance? Oh, yes. I loved Usher. And he got married. Yeah. Oh, Okay. No, I loved Usher's performance. He is so talented. Like it was literally just like, and you know, I hate concerts. So I'm a, I watch a good show on a TV screen, mm -hmm. but I don't like, I don't do all the concert shit. I don't like concerts. I feel like I would like the Usher show. Seeing how good that Super Bowl yeah. performance no, was, I, I would I've like that. Lo I love Usher. I think Usher is literally one of the greatest. His reign at, as an R&B king yeah. is more than warranted. He's literally amazing. I think that he's talented. He could dance. He could sing. He looked good. Yes. You know what I'm saying? He got married um, Super Bowl. Nobody, Super he don't Bowl. respect nobody relationships. <clears throat> nobody respect his. I forgot that he even got married the day of Super Bowl. Well, I think he, you know, he did a little Vegas pop-up wedding, yeah. which is cute. I would Long do something like that, too. I don't want anything, like, big, crazy, outlandish. Oh, I don't either. I don't think I will. I, honestly, I don't, A, I don't have enough friends nor family to do something outlandish. And then I don't want my man spending all that money on my wedding. That's yeah. how I said my man because I ain't dropping a dime. But I, I just, I don't want that, you know? Yeah. And you know what I was even thinking? I know this is really controversial, but I, I don't think even my man would let that happen. But, you know, they have this um, thing called Moissanite. And it's like the mm, thing. The fake diamond? Yeah, it's like a fake diamond, but it's like the closest thing to a diamond. Yeah. Like, you can't tell the difference or something. Mm -hmm. I'm like, I would get myself, I would get a Moissanite ring. The only way I would say to get that, because I don't want anything that big or crazy anyways, but the only way I'd say mm -hmm. to get that is that would be like your show ring. And then you have like have a more intimate home. and personal ring. Oh, like a little something? Yeah, like a something when you go out and be like, this is my wedding ring and show out in the public. And then they have another one when you're doing like running Louis. I don't know. I'm just like, uh, would I want my man to spend $100,000 on a ring? Like, no. Is that the standard? Is that what you expected? Yeah. Okay. I mean, so if, hey, hey, if you, what is that? So why would you care about him <laughs> if it's moist tonight? If you expect him to spend a hundred thousand? No, I'm saying so like why I don't, don't want him to the spend price that. range of it and get a real because I don't want it to be small. There's diamonds that are like ten thousand dollars that are big. Ten thousand dollars. I don't expect that. I don't. I don't want you to spend that much money. I don't want you to spend a hundred. I thought that a ring like engagement was supposed to be like a hundred thousand dollars. No. Well, the men you date maybe. But like no. this is a hundred thousand dollar ring. Like I think that's that's cute. I would want a ring like that. That's you could find a, a ring similar to that for half that price. Really? It's the cut quality, the carrots, all type of stuff. You've been looking at wedding rings? Oh my goodness. No, no, no. I have not been looking at wedding rings. I saw a TikTok of a girl talking about how she got a moist night ring. Okay? Everybody relax. Uh, not been looking at wedding rings. Everybody calm down. Well, I love him, so I he better ask me. <laughs> My man? What? For my hand? <laughs> I'm crying. You're so funny. Out of pappy. <laughs> Bro, why? Literally, we went to lunch with my freaking niece the other day. So awkward. Everybody's put so much pressure on him. She goes, I had a dream last night. And I was like, what? About and fish? She, no. She was like, I'll whisper it to you. She goes, that you got married. <laughs> and my man is sitting right next to me. I'm like, oh, my God. He's I'm like, what'd she say? I'm like, oh, my goodness. He's going to think I like told her to say this. Yeah, but that's hilarious. No, I'm not thinking about getting married at all, y'all. I'm just, it's just chatting we're just chatting that's sweet yeah look my man's very thoughtful but the only thing he ain't thought of is to put a ring on my finger yet uh, <laughs> <I'm just kidding. laughs> would you want to get married right now uh no i don't i don't well, like it's it wouldn't make i can't sense. see you getting married right now when do people get married like, i can well, see I myself getting time. married but i could see like i would just have to like alter a lot of shit that i'm not ready to do yet so i don't i yeah. it wouldn't it wouldn't make sense for either same, one of us I feel right the now. same you know what you i'm know? saying so it wouldn't make sense I mean, so maybe like, i don't know i just say that honestly because it's like i'm older now and like i don't we don't i don't 
I don't have as much time to waste as I, I'm not saying waste, I really but don't like, think that's true. I feel like there's so many bad bitches who like literally aren't even married I'm not yet. talking about that. I'm saying, I'm saying literally like I, like if I'm, if I was 20 and I'm dating somebody, I could be dating them for four or five years and still oh, be yeah. cool and chill. Right now you older. So it is literally like, we need to know what the fuck we want. That's all I'm saying. I'm not mm. saying I'm picking them. I'm just dealing with this because he's, yeah. you know what I'm saying? I'm just saying like. No, you should know what you want after yeah. you've done and dated all these people. I it's think just I like, want to get married at like maybe 36. 36? When do you want to have kids? You want to have kids before you're married? I don't know, maybe. Honestly, I think so. You know, I feel like I've waited so long. I want to do it the just traditional way. Like I want yeah. the marriage. I want I feel like the I house. Just, yeah. I want the kids. I want it in like that kind of order. Yeah. Or, the, or what is it? The house, the marriage, the kids? Or I the think marriage, it's the, the marriage, the house, the kids. Yeah, I think so. But yeah. I, on, I don't really care for tradition, honestly, that much, and mm -hmm. I think it's boring. So yeah. I don't. I however, my boring. story goes, I don't. I'm I not. Don't. I'm not lying to you. I mean, because I grew up in chaos, so it's like I crave. I low key like thrive off of boringness sometimes. Like I just don't want boring like live in like a slow ass state and have kids mm -hmm. and have like a boring ass life and like no social life. Nothing like, with nothing yeah. with us with our personalities would be boring, but I definitely would not mind peace. I would yeah. literally move to the country and be like, here we are, hippity dee really? da do. Or I would move to a big old city. I'm very versatile. Yeah. And you know my arms, it goes either way. Yeah. This yeah. is me as an Aquarius. Yeah. But I literally, I, do, I wouldn't mind it. I, really I would not want. That's like, why I don't want marriage Like right where now. my boyfriend plays football now, I would hate, and I genuinely mean with a passionate hate, to live out there full time. You would have to find other things to do. Like those women that you'd be seeing there on TikTok. There is nothing to do You would do have there. to like, like that girl who's 22 on TikTok who'd be making homemade cinnamon rolls. I with them two kids. I know who you're talking about. I don't even want to say her name because honestly, I get irritated every time I see her content because, never mind. Because what? It's just her top lip. No, oh, she's gorgeous. Oh, she's what do you gorgeous. mean? She's I thought you're beautiful. Saying. No, but anyways, um, no, I just I don't want to. I don't know. I don't. That's you know, why I'm not. That's why I'm saying I'm not ready now because I can understand. I want to. I really do want to be that wife that bakes those cookies and do nothing for a little while. Yeah, I don't mind that. I don't mind that. I would like. I would like to be chilling. I mean, I would love to chill in, like, L.A. <laughs> you know? Like, yeah, I get it. I could chill in I L.A. I still want my girls' time. I still want to do certain cute little yeah. girly pop things. I want to be able to have that and do yeah. that. But I feel like after a certain while, it does, like, come to a point where it's like, all right, we need a family. We need to start, you know And I saying? would love to do that. In L.A. And, like, yeah. In L.A. or, like, New York or, like, Miami or, like, yeah. just something somewhere like that. Somewhere cool, like a cool place yeah, somewhere, like that. Somewhere, yeah, just somewhere I can, like, catch a vibe, yeah. you know? Like, I just want to catch a vibe. Catch a vibe. And I want to, like, be with, like, other suburban rich moms. Like, that's, I'll, I'll do that vibe, but I'm not. Like how Dave Chappelle moved to the middle of nowhere because he didn't want nobody to recognize. Like, he just loves his, like, neighborhood people. Mm -hmm. Like, the reason why I fell in love with L.A. Mm -hmm. is because I feel like you can get that neighborhood vibe, that, that like, that homey vibe yeah. in multiple different different cities oh yeah and that's why i'm like oh i love this place, i love you know? that i like the residential vibe yeah i love a good residential vibe yeah. i love where like i'm telling you where i'm at now i could walk to the mall yeah. i could literally i'm like i love this like i love it i went to whole foods today i was right. like this is and that's raised my yeah, kids right. here you know like the area in la where all the jewish people live where beverly you know, hills no not beverly hills what is that what is that area where all the jewish people live it's my favorite area bro i'm like oh my god i wish i could get in here cute ass houses yeah but like literally everybody yeah. there is like jewish like yeah i love like their residential in. stuff yeah i get so it. so cute though like just such a i vibe. hate having to pay for parking like and oh, i'm yeah. used to it at this point but it's like i hate it like i want to go to target without having to pay oh my and god that's what pisses yeah. me off well that like by my house i don't really have city. those issues but that downtown shit yeah downtown i hate those oh my god it pisses me off can't run a single singular like area. if i were to go to new york i would probably live in jersey or somewhere you know what i'm saying yes i would do something like that Anyways, how was your Valentine's Day? <clears throat> my Valentine's Day was great. I was in Miami. Um, I flew straight from New Orleans to yes. Miami. And that's why I'm like annoyed I got to be because I would still be in Miami right now. But I'm like, I needed to come back home, check on my cat. Yeah. <laughs> I wasn't going to say nothing. <laughs> she be calling me a bad parent. Mm -hmm. But um, Peter, don't arrest me. But um, no, I, I, I literally had a great Valentine's. Um, he's What'd in Miami. Do? He's in Miami for work. So he had a hotel already, mm. 
But I already, I was about to mess it up in the beginning because I had an attitude because he didn't call me like a Uber. He didn't have an Uber waiting on me. So I was like, it's Valentine's Day. I want the queen treatment. Right. <laughs> but turns out he was decorating the hotel. Mm. And, you know, he only got one. He don't have Lyft because he had to, whatever. He just only got Uber right now. And mm-hmm. he was like, just call an Uber and I can send you the money. I was like, what type of shit is that? You should, <laughs> you should have this arranged. <laughs> Literally. I feel you. <laughs> Literally, so um, he was like, shy, please. And so I'm like, all right, whatever. And didn't we talk about this before? Because uh, I had an like, attitude. Because yeah. I was like, I can't stand. Because this men are good for pissing you off right before they surprise you. Right. Like, so, just don't piss me off. Yeah, exactly. But so I'm like, I shouldn't have tripped on that, honestly. I was just like, what? Whatever. I was like, you're not going to even, I, whatever. So I did that. So I'm on the phone with him on the way there. And he's like, my phone about to die. I'm like, you don't even give a f- <laughs> about me at this point. Your phone about to die. You couldn't send me an Uber. So I was just like, wow. You don't even care about me. So, whatever, we get to the hotel. He got to bring all of his stuff. Like, he got to carry all of his stuff with him because, you know, uh-huh. he's, a, he's a crippled right now. I walk in. I'm like, the whole hotel is decorated. Aww. Balloons. And he's like, yeah, I did this all myself. And I, could, I had to call an Uber at the same time you <laughs> did to get back. Because <laughs> I had to meet him somewhere why. else. So, literally, it was the sweetest thing ever. And I'm like, I know he, he had a hard time having to do all of this right. with one working leg right yeah. now and yeah. i'm like oh my, my little bookie boo Aww. and then from there we went to another hotel the next day and he decorated the room again this Aww. one was way this is a this because this hotel was where he was staying at uh-huh and the other hotel was where we stayed for the valentine's actual day right. and it was decorated it was really nice it was like 150 one what is it what? 1500 for one night oh that was expensive he got money. I'm crying. But literally, Girl. I was like, no, we only need to stay here one day. And then we went to go. Like, I'm the to same. This. I don't like that. Yeah, I'm like, I'm don't, like, be no, don't do that no more. But I low-key was like, I like it. Look. We stayed at this, like, we went to go see this burlesque show. And I love shit like that. Yeah. I really love it. And he got me a Bottega and some red bottoms. Oh, did you know? Did what? you see my story? Oh, yeah. And I don't know why you thought that. You are very slow. Hold on. You are really dumb, for real. You are really dumb. Y'all, did you know? Okay, I can't be the only person. I said this on my story. I did not know. So he bought me some red bottoms <laughs> that were the wrong size. So I'm like, we're in the, we're going to the mall, and I'm like, all right, let's just go to, I don't even know if I'm pronouncing anything right no more. I don't know. nothing. You're not, because you said Louis mean, Vuitton. Let's just go to Louis Vuitton. <laughs> Let's go to Louis Vuitton. Uh-huh. And he was like, why would we go to Louis Vuitton to, you know, exchange them if I got them from Louboutin? Lou- yeah. Wait, what is it? Louboutin. Louboutin. Why, if I got them from Christian Louboutin? Louboutin. Louboutin. <laughs> and I was just like, it's the same thing. What are you talking about? And I was like, it's just one is just like a, you know, like a, if there was like a sister and a brother. Like, I thought. It was- no, literally no. I don't even know how. You- Louboutin. That makes you- sense. No, it's, it's too close. Louis he was Vuitton. arguing with me in the store. He was like, it's just like Gucci and Poochie. I was like, those are two distinctive different things. Louboutin, Louboutin, and Chris. It Christian reminds Louis me Vuitton of the same thing. and Louis Vuitton. I'm stressing myself out just saying it right now, but I literally that is so funny. was put to shame. You so sh- you knew that? Yes. That is two different brands, girl. Two completely different brands. Okay. Well. That's I'm- hilarious, though. That is funny. Yeah. I didn't get gifts for Valentine's Day. You didn't? Well, you no. got a nice decorator. No. But y'all are going on a trip. Yeah, no, that's what I was going to say. So I, my boyfriend flew in. Apparently, he had that room decorated for multiple days. You're lying. The balloon no. stayed up that long? Yes, because he was like, well, the girl could only come this day. So I just got, I said, oh, my God. Okay. Well, I appreciate you. Very cute. I posted a little video on my TikTok of the room if you guys want to see it. And then we just went to a dinner. And it was okay. Like, I, I just was happy to spend time with him. Mm-hmm. Like, honestly, like, our dinner irritated me because, like, Why? the service was slow. Oh, my God. Doesn't that It suck? wasn't the restaurant. I Because I chose the restaurant, mm-hmm. and I did not like the restaurant. Like, I wanted to go somewhere else, but, you know, Valentine's Day, they're all booked up, whatever. So I was just like, oh, my God. But I was just happy to be with him. Mm-hmm. I was happy we, like, got dressed up, got cute, mm-hmm. like, took a million pictures of each other. That's just, cute. Yeah, it was great. I, I was just happy to spend time with what him. What did you wear? I didn't see. I saw like this. I wore like this little purple set. Oh, that's cute. Um, yeah, I'll show you pictures. But um, and then I pissed him off in the night. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I felt so bad. I felt so bad because I was like, oh my god, he did all of this, 
And then we woke up the next day and I was like, I'm sorry. Did you have like lingerie sex? Yes, I did. I did actually dress up in lingerie and I don't do that. I've never done that for anybody. Cause really? It's, it's so corny to me. It's so okay. corny to me. I do not feel comfortable either. And I wanted to talk to you about this off camera. But, I'm but crying. I literally am like having an existential crisis right now because I'm like, what? I can't. <laughs> I have to cut this out. I'm literally, I know, right? I'm like, I'm feeling sick. It's annoying me. But I'm feeling like I cannot be like sexy. You know, like mm -hmm. I can, like I'm so funny. I'm goofy. I'm like, I have right. a pretty face. Like, just pay attention to this and this will get you hard right. enough. But like, I walk into there with like some lingerie on and I'm like this. No, <laughs> I don't know. I don't to know. Do. I like, don't. I, I just can't. I feel like I'm low key kind of goofy with my man too, and I really have been thinking like I need to kind of get out of that a little bit, and like I need to freak it up a little. But you see, you're just a freaky person. Though. I enjoy but our in sex the way it is. How I'm chill, not. And, like not chill, but like how like comfortable. Like it's passionate and comfortable, mm -hmm. and it's just like. I don't know if I'm trying to fix something that isn't broken, but I'm like, I need to add some spice. Like, I need to yeah. come out in lingerie on Valentine's Day and, like, it'd be a thing. But that's the thing. In this relationship that I'm in, I am not, like, a disgusting slut. Like, I am in a wholesome relationship right now. Like, with a man who, like, cherishes me and, like, puts me on a pedestal. And, like, I've said things to him, like, I want you to treat me like a piece of shit and he's yeah. like i i cannot do that now that pedestal is annoying sometimes it'd be like, I'm like sometimes let me, me out let me out let me, <laughs> slut me out like you gotta know you gotta have a nice balance and i feel like that's like we we are good at a balance yeah. but it's like i be in my head so much i pissed him off because i was like so what about the lingerie <laughs> <laughs> i'm crying and he was like i like it i love it and then like blah blah snap and i'm just like in my head and i'm just like i don't know yeah I mean, I put it on. It was good. He liked it. Like, yeah, he liked it too. So, I mean, I could be a little sexy. So, you know. Yeah, he I like just, it. I, be, I got it in my own head, and I was just like, I'm the stupidest bitch in the world right now. <laughs> <laughs> this on, I just felt uncomfortable, and it's just yeah. like I need to start. What I said I'ma do. I'm going to buy so much lingerie, and I'ma wear it every day to where it's like a norm for me. Yeah, and I'ma just walk around in it like it's nothing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. No, I get what you mean because, like, I, like how you are, like, I'm just, like, goofy. I feel like I'm in that mode, too. Like, I'm so goofy yeah. with him. And I'm so comfortable. So Low comfortable. Key today, I was like, I need to be less comfortable around this Bro, man. Yeah. Because I was looking crazy as And I was just like, I don't know why he's with me. And, like, I'd be like. Yeah. And he, like, is still thinking I'm pretty. Like, yeah. still, like, is obsessed with me. Still wants to be around me. Yeah. Like, and I'm just like, I literally asked him yesterday. I was like, do I give you any icks? And he was like, no. What? I know I give him so many. I know I give my man so many icks. I literally be farting and smelling my own farts in front of him. I got to really stop. Yeah. <laughs> no, I be yeah. crop dusting him. I be like. Yeah, I'm like, I got to quit being so comfortable with this yeah. man. Like, I got to get on my, like, freaky, mysterious tip. Yeah, I, I try but so I, hard to be I, mysterious, but I just can't shut the up. Yeah, I'm just like, he's really growing into, like, one of my best friends. Like, you know, so it's, like, yeah. weird. I can't, I can't. I can't. I just have to be myself. Like, why, imagine me putting on lingerie for you. It's weird. <laughs> no, it's really weird. Look, he's and my like, brother. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Look, just bro. Joking. And I asked him, I was like, what's your, like, he bought me, because I told you, he is very thoughtful. Like, I remember, like, I told him I had problems, like, trying to find the right lingerie or do this and that. Uh -huh. So, like, I remember our first year anniversary, he bought me, like, this lingerie that he likes. And still, I was just like, right. You like no, it? No, and that's so funny because literally I'm packing for the trip that we're going on. We leave tomorrow. And I was like, should I? I have another little lingerie set. I was like, should I bring this? And I was like, no, I'm going to look. No. I know. Like, uh, and he was like, I just love you nude. Like, I'm it's like, what's that mean? Too so much. You hated my lingerie. Right. <laughs> you hated what I tried to do. Oh, that shit is expensive. Oh, yeah. And he's not the type that likes that cheap lingerie. Like, yeah. I know how some guys be like, I want you to look like the prostitute on Fig and Seven. Like, oh, Figaro. like the little, yeah, cheap. No. Yeah, he's like, I like bondage lingerie straight. Like, spent $500 See, on a thong. The like, lingerie that I have, I have from when I had that Savage Fenty deal. Mm. So I have hella shit that I've literally worn one time, like, or still have tags on it. Yeah. So I'm like, okay, well, stuff. let me put this to work. Actually, you can. I have a huge bag of brand new shit. But Will they fit my big ass? <laughs> yeah. No. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, no, overall, Valentine's Day was good. I did, like I said, I felt bad. I, I kind of pissed him off. Over what did you do? What did you, what happened? I, okay, this is the shit I mean. I'm not going to tell you what was going on, but it was something like we were getting into the act and I started laughing 
And he was like, why are you laughing? And I was like, I couldn't stop laughing. And then he was like, why are you laughing at me? Oh, But keep in mind, we were wasted. And then I was like. What did he do? Nothing. I was laughing because I had to fart. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, please don't be mad. I bl- I'm laughing because, like, I killed the vibe. I killed yeah. the vibe. Because I really did have to poot. Uh-huh. And I was, like, trying not to. And, oh, God, I just. I you should have just bro. did it. No, I w- would it have been really loud because you know I don't know. Uh, I I the vibe up. I the vibe up, bro. <laughs> so y'all had a whole argument off of that. No, we didn't have an argument. He was just like, he was over it, bro. He was yeah. like, all right, bro. yeah, kind like, of the same thing. And I was like, me. oh shit, <laughs> what did I do? <laughs> my man just spent all this money. Literally, like, oh my yeah, god, one of these nice days did his nice shit and just uh, like, right. so you don't like what I got on. <laughs> Bro, I know. It's okay. I'm going to make up for it when we go to Turks. Yeah. Like, I'm about to be a super slut out there. What? So. I gave the hardest blowjob. My throat oh, still hurts. Sorry! <laughs> Yo. And literally, I woke up the next day. I was like... Mm. I literally don't want to hear you say things like that. Like, oh. actually, it makes me feel, like, awkward. You can't tell me shit with all the stuff I've seen in your phone. Girl, you see, baby. What a deal thing. And I'll <laughs> never forget it. Honestly. <laughs> it has scarred me for life. Um, Speaking of sexual things, we D-Lo... Did. Got his wiener exposed. Who is D-Lo? Yeah, Bachi, bad bitch. Oh, yeah, Bachi, that's why everybody's so stuck on it. Because he has that song out he right now. He has that now. one song that's really hot right now. Tia and Kemp Tia exposed Kemp him. exposed why him. The girl she... who was the main one singing it, making that song even go viral. Because she probably, that's her little boo. So I guess something But she said she never slept with him? Something that happened where he had lied on her. I guess he didn't want to... Didn't want to tear his draws with Rick Ross, so he was just like, "I'm not really messing with you." Or what? I don't know the full details of it, but mm-hmm. I think it's wrong for her to expose him. Like, you know, whatever beef you got is with Rick Ross, unless he yeah. did something crazy to you or exposed you in any type of way. Then I feel like it, I feel like I'm like he had to do all of that. Nah, that's true. She didn't have to do all that, but I will say that the fact that she said button dick was hilarious. She said button dick. She said this that button dick. And I I seen it and it looked like a button dick. And then did you see his response? Yeah, well, yeah, that's what I tried to say. He said, Lil Dix is winning. Shrimp Dix is winning. Honestly, that's a way to steal back your power. I'm all for it. I honestly, I'm all for it. I really am. I like, know, steal back your power, young king. I know of an A list celebrity man who I heard got his done. I'm sure y'all can all guess who I'm talking about. And he needs to start passing out the surgeon because there's no reason you're a yeah, rich it man with a tiny with a super tiny tiny peeny like it was a, it was a button dick. do you think that what is it called he DDL? pissing on his own dick, walls ddl dick done large what D, it's like instead of a bbl it's a ddl dick insane dick enhancement something i believe in that i believe in that you think that he did that for real <gasps> who i know who you're talking about yes i do really Th- somebody told me that Really? Somebody who slept with him before and after told me That's that. crazy. I wonder how yeah. many inches changed it. I don't know, but it's nice. It's a good size now, so. That's crazy. That monkey tail. <laughs> <laughs> no, but honestly, I think that, yeah. I mean, just how women can get BBLs, I think that men should get DDLs. <laughs> I do. I think they should be able to get that. If they have the money, they should do it. So. Did you see this thing where men are getting eyelashes now? Uh, Leave something for the ladies. Men are not. I don't. I think that was a gay boy getting eyelashes. Oh, was it? I think so. I don't think you know men what's are crazy though. This guy that I talked to one time a long time ago, <laughs> my <Yeah>. ex. <laughs> this one guy that I talked to really <laughs> I know, like, right? <laughs> an ex. Make it would be. <laughs> he had like these downward lashes, so I feel like if he were to get that lash lift, it would have been so cute. Like I could see it sometimes, some way, somehow. Oh, if it'd yeah. be awkward and weird, but like to get the full fledged like lashes done, yeah, no, that shit irritates me, and I'm a woman. Oh yeah, no, they're not, they're not for the week. Y'all know I keep my lashes done. Before we continue the episode, we just wanted to give a second to give a shout out to our sponsor, Lume. It was designed by an OBGYN to help with body odor. And it's not only for your pits, but it's for wherever you might get body odor. It's amazing. It's so you can smell good all year long, summer, winter. I don't know what y'all got going on if you're working out hard, if you're in the sun for the summer. But this is something that you guys definitely got to check out. You know what's funny that we really spoke about hygiene last week and this week our sponsor is Lume and I've actually been using them for a while um, before they even became a sponsorship so it's actually pretty convenient. They not only work for your underarms, they really work for 
head to toe, multiple different areas. And we have a special, special offer, offer right now. New customers you get $5 off Lume starter pack with our exclusive code and link. Use code behind the likes at lumedeodorant.com. That's L-U-M-E-D-E-O-D-O-R-A-N-T.com. So wait, what did you talk about the Quinn? I don't oh, even yeah. know who that is. Okay. So I... Quinlan, did you... Was that a misspelling or was that no, really the name, name of it? her name is Quinlan. Her name is Quinn. Oh, okay. Blackwell. Quinn Blackwell. You've never seen her? You've seen her. No. You've who is that? Seen. Girl, you've seen her. You probably just don't know her name. But, y'all, there's been some tea and some drama with Miss Quinlan Blackwell, um, unfortunately. What did she do? I'm about to tell you. I'm about to tell you. Hold on, y'all. I'm about to tell you. You've seen this girl. Is she a TikTok star or something? She's like a, she does, yeah. She's a, oh, she got 8 million on TikTok now. Period, girlfriend. This girl. Oh, I've seen her. Yeah, yeah I've I seen know her. you've seen her. But, um, yeah, so there was some drama on the Tiki Talkie appy um, because Miss Quen went on a podcast with uh, somebody named Zach Justice. He's a white, I guess, podcaster. I don't, I've never heard of him, mm -hmm. honestly, but I guess he's like very known. Um, he made a joke about so he had you know Fanita the podcast girl yes and he I guess had Fanita on the show and Quinn was like oh did you and Fanita hook up after the show and he was like yeah and she was like oh was it on video and he's like yeah you want to see and she was like yeah and then she was like actually no I only would see something like that with you know both party consent yeah perfect perfect mm -hmm. right nothing wrong there he goes, well, the lights were off, so you would only be able to see me. Well, she smiled, so no, you could tell she was there or some shit like that. And Quen literally laughed. Like, oh, oh my God, bro, you can't say that, bro. Like, what the f***, bro? <laughs> like, you know, like that type of reaction. And I was like, oh, my God, that is just not good. Like, you just f***ed up really bad because... You're like l laughing at this white man's obvious, very racist joke, and like you're a brown skin girl yourself. And so the internet has been tearing Miss Quinn a new one, but it's crazy because I went to go look it, for it on TikTok today, and I cannot find a video of it. I am like, mm, they're working hard, y'all. They're working hard. Yeah. I mean, honestly, crazy. I mean, don't say nothing you don't want to edit out later, please. I'm just saying. Girl, you be at it too. I'm not gonna say nothing crazy. I mean, okay, here's my take on it. <laughs> no, I'm laughing because you are an idiot. <laughs> what is your take? What happened to a good wholehearted joke? <laughs> here's my thing. The only time that I think slight racist jokes are funny is when it's like two friends and like they are making jokes about mm -hmm. each other's race. Yeah. You know? If she was there and laughed at it, it would have been a different story. I don't like white men making those kind of jokes. I'm sorry. Yeah. I don't. I do not feel comfortable with it. I never have. I pers I don't even have one white friend in the world because every time I've had a white friend, they always say some weird undertone racist shit. And I do not like it, especially white men. Like, I don't like hanging out with white men. They sometimes tend to say like little slick racist shit and I just I don't know but I do know that like from what I've seen Quinn on the internet like she has a good mixture of friends so I think she does hang out with like a lot of white people mm -hmm. but I'm just like I think it should just be a learning moment for her like even if it is uncomfortable in that moment and you're like oh my god like what do I say what do I do like you kind of do need to like check people on that shit and I know it's kind of like oh you don't want to like say nothing and then make it awkward yeah. and now I got to be on this guy's podcast but it's like I hate white men who make those racist ass jokes mm -hmm. bro I do not like it I'm sorry I don't okay I don't I understand that and I get it I mean honestly me I probably would have been canceled for the same thing because I really probably would have cracked up laughing at that. I would have thought it was fun. Like, you know, there's a lot of jokes in my roster that are inappropriate to multiple different races. So to me, it's just like it sucks sometimes when people pick and choose they eating her ass up or something. Cause I don't think like, they need to be eating her up. I, need, I, I think, think they need like, to be eating him up. Yeah, I don't think that it's kind of that fair. You just like sometimes people laugh in awkward moments, too. You know me. I'm good for that. Oh, no, yeah. So no, it's just like, Haha. but that's like, why I'm like. 
she, I'm sure she felt uncomfortable. I'm sure it was yeah. awkward. I don't feel like she deserves to get as, you know, eaten up as much as she is. Of course, I think he does, though, because yeah. he kept saying little weird, like, so he was saying, like shit, weird. like, kept saying stuff you about. Know. She even said, oh, didn't you say you would never date black girls or some shit like that? That's or weird, because yeah. your dad wouldn't. Like, it's just, like, weird but also, shit. people have preferences, too. Yeah, people can have preferences, but you can have a preference and not be racist. Yeah, of course. Like, no, like that. You I seen this video the other day, and then, and like, it was kind of weird and questionable. Uh, and in the same sense, never mind. What? It was a little racist, actually, now that okay. I think about it. <laughs> no, I don't think that. I, I really don't think that there's anything wrong with people having preferences, whatever. Yeah. But like, I feel like sometimes people use that as an excuse to be racist be racist yeah. yes they do and i i don't know it just it personally makes me uncomfortable and it's like i i didn't even really want to speak on it publicly like i wanted to like respond to the whole thing like you know whatever but mm -hmm. people gonna be like eh, i just don't need to comment on anything involving race honestly it just always turns into a thing but that is my honest opinion about it i don't think Quen needs to be getting eaten up as much as she should i just think she should take it as a learning moment like even if you're around these white people and these people are your friends like they should not yeah. feel comfortable saying things like that yeah about you or your friend people who you're friends with because her and Fanita are friends yeah so that's like somebody saying some weird shit about you and me not really saying nothing yeah like, you know that would make me feel away yeah so yeah i always think of things you know it's funny i thought about this the other day i wanted to complain about something in my apartment complex and you know i'd be hitting up all, i'd be hitting up all y'all asking for advice on what i should do yeah and i hit up Bijan, and i was like so this is what's going on and i was and I, she was like you need to always complain she, she was like my motto for 2024 is what would a white woman do? <laughs> and she's like, she's like, that's the way, like, they get these things, they do these things. And I literally think Lindsay is the smartest woman I know, the most logical woman I know, one of my best friends, trust her with my literal life. Yeah. And she's a white woman. She's an yeah. intelligent, intellectual white woman. And I'd be like, Lindsay is not like that. Lindsay does not do these things. Lindsay yeah. would never, you know what I'm saying, say these things. And I said that to her. I was like, Lindsay wouldn't do that. Yeah. She was like, Lindsay black. Right. But <laughs> See, there is like I, genres you, of like. Yeah. You know, remember when I went to, when I when we were in New Orleans and I was like, the white people out here are different. Yeah. Like they're very different. Like, but that's how I kind of feel in the Bay Area too. Yeah. Like the white people that we have are very different. Yeah. So I was just looking like it was so interesting. Like it was like it literally like you would it would be some shit where it looks like we're in the hood, but it's just like random like white people yeah. too. Like and everybody just like, oh yeah in New time. Orleans. Yeah. Yes, I was like, this is very cute. This yeah. is fun. I, I like know that. that's yeah that's literally just I'm like I don't know. Yeah. It'd be yeah. like, damn, it's really strict around this bitch. It really is. I don't know. Yeah, it is strict around this bitch. But I mean, you know, I'm not for everything being strict. But I, I am a, I am uncomfortable when white men make racist remarks. I'm uncomfortable when men make white, stupid jokes. White men make yeah. racist remarks. Like it's just that it just serves me the wrong way. But I don't like anybody, you know, being any type of ignorant. But whatever, <laughs> <laughs> I don't. But um, any whoops. <laughs> uh the amber rose left the club with a young athlete who did she leave the club with oh some freaking boy named cj something or other some little whippersnapper he's about how old is he 22 oh my god wait how old is she 40 oh so she's 40 so this is drea all over again yeah and you know what's funny i really felt bad about what i said about i really beat myself up about that really? because i had you like this podcast is a thing where you have to like learn it's not just me and you talking. So yeah. it's like there are certain things I have to say, like when we do edit shit out a lot sometimes. But it's like I could state my opinion about something without being disrespectful. And I yeah. should have never said she was a pedophile. Did I say that? Yes. Yeah, I should have never <laughs> said that. Because I, mean, I, don't, I don't think that's, that, that was such a strong word. And I honestly retracted right after. But it's like I do think it is a little weird. Yeah, I think, I it's, think it's weird. weird. Yeah. I think it's still even weirder for her because her son – is that yeah. age even with amber rose situation her son isn't that age yeah. so it's still like to me it's like i mean amber rose made a post saying oh he was just giving me a ride because my the sprinter left without me i believe amber she don't seem like a liar <laughs> she really don't i don't know honestly i really don't give a fuck yeah <laughs> i'm gonna be real i don't care like i mean 
weird is weird, but I haven't been 40 years old yet. And if I'm 40 years old and I want some 22 year old dick, I guess I could get it. I mean, they're grown. Like, I, I mean, am I going to marry the man and have a baby with him? No, but uh, what happened to cougars, man? Like, no. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't know. Like, I haven't been there. Yeah. I haven't been there. I, I might be disgusted by the idea. I have no idea. Yeah. So it is what it is. They are going younger nowadays. I feel like it's the men who really, like they said on the uh, the little Twitter, it's those men who they grew up watching these women. Oh, yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. it is just like yeah, checking it off your that. list, Loki. Of course. Yeah, no, that's 100%. I think that's what it is. That's like me having sex with <laughs> Brad Pitt. Oh, I loved him. I really? loved him back in my day. Hmm, who would I hit? <laughs> hit? <laughs> I'm such a boy. I don't think there's anybody that I would want to sleep with. That or like way. Chris Brown. For me, like mm. I was obsessed with him. When I was young. He was on like my wall. But then when you move to LA and you see him in person, it's just like, all right, you just, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's not, it's I'm like not the thrill lie. is kind of gone. I feel like all of my childhood celebrity crushes, which has only been a couple now, let me not say all, I've already checked them bitches off my box. So yeah, I I'm really probably, don't. <laughs> so it's like, yeah. I get, get what they doing low key. Right. I've already, like, I think I accomplished those things. I'm crying. Not checked it off my You know, when list. I first kind of came to LA, now <laughs> that shit don't move yeah. me at all. But um, all right, we got advice. Oh yeah, do we have advice this second? All right, yeah, it's just real quick. Okay. So this is our advice. Um, hi, shy in winter. I want to be kept anonymous, please. I need some advice that I tell my older sister. All- I need some advice, and I tell my older sister all the time we are just like y'all. My man told me early on my gift wouldn't be on Valentine's Day. And he was going to give me some money in the meantime. I told him prior before the day that even if my physical gift wasn't there, I wanted flowers on the day. Duh. Short story. I didn't get any flowers, but he did slide a good amount of money in my back pocket. My mom said I am being ungrateful, but y'all, she's a different generation. Am I wrong for being pissed about not receiving flowers too? Is the money better than flowers? And am I doing too much? I really don't give a about no damn flowers. I don't. I don't really care. I do. I, I mean, like it the, is kind of the thought. Yeah, that it's counts, the thought. So. Like, yeah. you could buy flowers yeah. for $4. You could buy some $4 flowers. It's the thought that counts. I'm a very thoughtful person. Yeah. Like, you could, you could, it literally takes nothing. They yeah. be on Valentine's Day, they be stopping at red lights to sell flowers. Right. That's so true. It's, That's it's true. It's very easy to get some flowers. You're That's not true. tripping. I wouldn't make a big deal about it. Like, yeah. just. He could have grabbed some flowers, though. He, he could have grabbed, grabbed some, some flowers. cheap ass flowers that don't even matter. But like, just, like, is. maybe he's gonna have some flowers when the present come. But, like, yeah, yeah. I would be, I'd be a little sad. Like, damn, you couldn't give me no flowers. Like, no, yeah, I would because candy, remember, like, I had a whole attitude. Like, yeah, for you Christmas, know what I'm saying? About so it's the like, thing, so, yeah. Yeah. I but I actually don't normally care about flowers. Like, honestly, yeah. I really don't. Valentine's Day, give me some flowers and give me some chocolate. Yeah, period. Yeah. Love y'all. All right, y'all. Bye. Thank you for watching.